Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the news from Bahrain International. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable from Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in which she congratulated His Royal Highness on the success of Sheikh Aisha bint Rashid Al Khalifa in her piloting of the Royal Air Force's military aircraft. Her Royal Highness expressed deep pride in her brave decision to serve Bahrain's armed forces. His Royal, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika also congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the outstanding success of Sheikha Aisha's inaugural flights as the Kingdom's first female fighter pilot, praising her high professional skills and competence. Her Royal Highness asserted that Sheikha Aisha's honourable achievement adds to Bahraini women's rich record of accomplishments in various fields. She wished His Royal Highness further success in supporting His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's aspirations for more progress for Bahraini citizens. She also expressed confidence in Sheikha Aisha's ability to succeed in her career thanks to Bahraini women's distinguished qualities and keenness to contribute effectively to the nation's progress. Her Royal Highness prayed to God to bless the great and sincere efforts of His Royal Highness in supporting the aspirations of the noble vision of Bahraini citizens and the success of Sheikha Aisha in her career. The wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, sent a cable to Lieutenant Sheikh Aisha bint Rashid Al Khalifa on the success of her first air mission of the Royal Air Force's military aircraft. Her Royal Highness expressed sincere congratulations to Sheikh Aisha on the success of her inaugural flight as Bahrain's first female fighter pilot, describing it as a high level accomplishment that adds to Bahraini women's achievements. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika reiterated her deep pride in Bahraini women's patriotic achievements, noting that Sheikha Aisha's distinguished performance and outstanding skills embody the Bahraini women's dedication in the service of the homeland and keenness to defend it. She lauded Sheikha Aisha's choice of such an important field, which reflects her courage and determination to serve the nation through the Bahrain Defense Force, a platform that provides its affiliates with the opportunity to protect and defend the country. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika wished Sheikh Aisha every success in serving the country. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of West Asian Athletics Association and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the new historic achievements made by the National Athletics Team in the third West Asian Athletics, which was held in Jordan. The team won 35 medals, 20 of which were gold, 12 silver and 3 bronze, and the team also won first place in the overall championship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the achievement is a continuation of the achievement series that the Bahrain Athletics team makes in various events as a result of the support of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad. He asserted that the achievement reflects the excellence of Bahraini sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the outstanding performance of the athletes and the efforts of the technical and administrative authorities as well as the follow-up of the association's officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid added the achievement will encourage the association's board of directors to provide further support to the athletes to continue the march of remarkable success for Bahraini sports, expressing optimism about the Bahrain athletics' ability to make further honorable achievements. On the sidelines of the 40th session of the Estila International Cultural Forum held in Morocco, Dirasat signed a joint cooperation agreement with the forum aimed at enhancing bilateral cooperation in the field of mutual interest and cooperation in achieving constructive development. Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Dirasat, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, said the agreement comes with the framework of the brotherly relations between the two kingdoms and in the context of a series of memorandums of understanding and cooperation concluded with several international forums to enhance cooperation and contribute to efforts that improve performance in accordance with quality and efficiency standards. He praised the vital and influential role of the Asila Cultural Forum in the field of investment in thoughts and its international reputation, pointing out that comprehensive framework was discussed to strengthen cooperation in many fields. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa pointed out that the annual studies forum has become an important platform for regional events, discussing the issues raised in the arena, exchanging views and producing valuable and inspirational visions that accompany the comprehensive reform approach in all fields under the leadership of His Majesty the King. For his part, the Secretary General of the Asila Cultural Foundation, Mohammed bin Isa, praised the progress at Dirasat and the remarkable boom in research, expressing his pleasure in cooperating with them in areas of mutual interest. 
in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of fulfilling the needs of citizens and following up on the government's efforts, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in implementing its work program and in implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa of distributing 5,000 housing units, the Under Secretary of the Housing Ministry Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa announced the completion of distributing over 690 housing units units as part of the al housing project. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed affirmed the ministry's commitment to implement His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's order as soon as possible according to schedule, noting that the ministry completed the distribution of the housing units in Umul Hassam, Khalifa Town, Salman Town, Arad, Ibsaytin, Sitra and Al-Hajjiyat apartments. He added that all the measures of distributing the project's units were carried out smoothly amid the approval of beneficiary citizens, noting that the ministry will receive citizens who are not able to complete their procedures sooner. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed stated that the project affirms the success of the government's efforts to establish a partnership with the private sector.